Uh, what you guys are going to be doing is you're going to be coloring a moth to blend in, to camouflage itself into the surroundings of our classroom. You guys are going to grab one of these blank moths and you're going to color it and then cut it out. Now, uh, when coloring, you're going to be looking around the classroom for a place for, for you to stick it with tape. Um, it has to be somewhere where you can reach. I will allow you to stand on one chair um, so that you can get up higher uh, to do it. But uh, obviously nobody's going to be standing on anything to get to the ceiling, so uh, stay as far as you can reach. So I chose a couple already. I colored a couple ahead of time. And as you can see, there's an outline of the moth. When you cut it out, you want to cut it out um, so that you cut out all the black off of it. I don't want any black outline um, because when I hide it, there's not going to be a black outline where I hide it. And I'll show you where I'm going to hide these in a minute. The one I'm going to color here for you, though, I've chosen my colors that I'm going to use. The goal here is to really camouflage it using more than one color. So as you can see here, I chose two colors uh, for that one, three colors for this one. This one's also going to have three colors, but there's going to be a design on it. So it's going to really go in a uh, kind of a fancier place than, say, the other ones. So I'm going to kind of, and I'm sitting at my desk. So I'm looking across the room at what it is I want to do, because obviously I don't want to I don't want anybody to see what I'm coloring exactly, because this is going to be hiding from Mr. King, really. So, so here we go. I'm going to kind of just uh, maybe I'll use my black to start with. And boys, you're probably going to be a lot better at this now because I'm allowing you to be sloppy. Color outside the lines because I'm going to cut it out, aren't I? So I don't care if I get outside the lines. I'm going to cut all that extra stuff off. Now. The one, whoop. <laughs> the one thing I will tell you, though, is that you are going to want to push pretty hard. So you don't want a super sharp pencil. Notice how these are not sharp. Uh, I just use this one on this one. You're really going to want to push hard because you don't want any white showing. Because um, most of the things in my classroom are going to be a solid color. So you really want to get that in there. All right. And... All right. So there's that. Now I'm going to cut it out, and again, uh, I'm going to cut all the black off of it. Did I have a boot camp for how to, how to cut with scissors, or did I just teach maybe my homeroom? You guys notice I'm not moving my right hand with the scissors in it? And all you lefties out there, I'm a lefty too, but you know what? got to learn to live in a right-handed world. So you got to learn how to use right-handed scissors. But notice I'm moving the paper around and not the, uh, not the scissors. Look how much faster that was than, than you can probably do. So there you go. See how it's uh, got all the coloring on the outside? Now this I'm going to throw in the recycle bin. These I'm going to go put up. And I'm going to show you where they are in a minute. All right, guys. Well, this one's going to be a little shaky. So uh, what I didn't show you was how to uh, put the tape on it. So remember our three-inch rule. Okay, and then we're going to just make one of those little balls of tape. All right, let's see if Mr. King can do this one-handed since I'm holding. All right, so uh, you one roll of tape. That's all you need. Sorry, I'm not trying not to make you sick here. All right, going to stick that on there, and then you're going to put your uh, moth where it belongs, which for me... It's really hard to do when looking through a... I think I did it this way. There you go. Now you see my moth? There he is. But see how he's hiding on the two colors? And I even made the little shape of the scallop there. Well, now my other two moths, there was one of them. And he's a little obvious because the, the purple color turned out to not be the right color and the green was not exactly the green one. But my other one is better. You see him there on, uh, and you can see him on the video pretty well because of the shininess of the uh, Aquaman poster. But the, uh, but the further I get away, the better he looks. Okay. But you see how this guy over here looks pretty good. The one on the fish poster stands out, but the one on the Aquaman 
you can't barely see because of the uh, all the other colors and all the other spots that are on it, all the little lines. So, all right. So you guys are gonna do one, one of those. You're gonna put your name on the back of it. That way, if I don't find it, I may be paying some of you for the the more awesome you can make it. All right.